What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps, you guys, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. You can choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, so I received another channel message, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, there are very good messages that come in today, I'm just saying. Okay, so, um, oh, oh, sorry, hold on. Give me a second, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. So, um, the channel message I received was, um, um, a very karmic divine masculine, um, that has done some very heinous, terrible things to you, um, behind the scenes. Um, I heard stole your money and, um, verbal spell work to, to the community. Um, he wants to come back now. Um, he was used to, um, feeding off your energy too. I heard that too. He's used to feeding off your energy. He wants to come back now. Um, I heard it would not be smart to allow him back. You plug it in, how it resonates. I heard he thought he was going to, um, um, I thought, I heard he, he thought he was going to, um, um, Put you in the poorhouse. He was going to put you in the poorhouse and have control over you. But um, but it's about to seriously backfire through many shocking series of chain of events. It's about to seriously backfire through many shocking series of chain of events. So it's a karmic masculine. If this resonates for you, it's a karmic masculine. He thought he was going to put you in the poorhouse. That was going to make you poor. Um, he already done some very heinous things to you behind the scenes. I heard in the community, uh, verbal manipulation, so verbal spell work, um, talking negatively against you, basically lies and drama and all kinds of crazy shit. And I heard he stole, his, stole your money. He stole your money too. Um, <clears throat> but I heard it's about to seriously backfire on him. So I heard it would not be smart to allow him back. I did not hear a sign on him, but you plug him in however he resonates in your own life. He's a very karmic masculine. Now, karmics are anybody that doesn't mean well for you. And that's just the truth. He's karmic. He's a warlock. The dark arts is about to seriously backfire. He's a warlock. And the dark arts is about to seriously backfire is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So he's a dark arts. Um, he's a warlock. So dark arts wielder. And the um, dark arts is about to seriously backfire. Number 34 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 34, success. There's about to be success here uh, for you, um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. There's about to be success here for you. I feel you can be um, a masculine or a feminine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel you can be masculine or feminine. But um, it is a karmic masculine that has done this to you, whoever this is and how this applies, okay? Um, and he's a warlock. So he's put spell work on you. Whether you know it or not, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're highly intuitive and you know this shit. And I'm just being real. I feel you know this shit and that's just the freaking truth. I feel you know it, know it, know it. But um, it's about the backfire. So you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything. He was trying behind the scenes to steal your house and other things, but it's about to seriously backfire. He was trying behind the uh, scenes to steal your house and other things, but it's about to seriously backfire. So he was behind the scenes trying to steal your home, uh, try to make you homeless or obtain your home in some shape, form, or fashion and make money off of it or, or profit off of it or something. 
and other things, but I heard it's about to seriously backfire. It's a karmic masculine, so whoever you are, masculine or feminine, he doesn't mean well for you, and that's just the truth. Uh, for real, for real, he does not mean well for you, whoever you are. Um, sorry, ma'am. It's really terrible, um, but it sounds like there's about to be success in this situation because the energy is about to backfire upon him. Whoever this person is and how that applies, okay? Let's pull one more. He wants you to think negatively about yourself, but you most certainly do not. Because you are not a bad person. He wants you to think negatively about yourself, but you most certainly do not because you're not a bad person. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, may, uh, star man. He wants you to think badly about yourself. So he wants you to... I'm guessing probably self-harm yourself or hurt yourself or harm yourself or something. That's terrible. He wants you He wants you to think negative thoughts about yourself, for sure. So I'm thinking he might want you to self-harm yourself or have a plan to self-harm yourself. But I heard you don't. You don't think negatively about yourself. And basically, it's about to backfire upon him, I'm presuming. Um, or somebody he's connected to. Because, you know, dark arts either backfires upon the actual wielder or people connected to the wielder. Um, number 42 or 13 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 42 or 13, we have chaos and freedom and family. It's a karmic masculine. It can be anybody to you. Anybody. It can be a uh, friend of me, a family member, ex-co-worker, ex-lover, um, neighbor, whoever. Chaos, freedom, family. For some, this is an ex-co-worker. For some, this is a family member. For some, this is a neighbor. For some, this is a co-worker. For some, this is a ex- uh, For some, this is an ex-co-worker. For some, this is a family member. For some, this is a neighbor. Uh, it's a masculine energy. Um, warlock. You plug it in, how it resonates. Huge chaos is about to come to this person. Huge. And his family. Huge chaos is about to come to this person and his family. You have escaped. You have escaped. Huge chaos is about to come to him and his family and you have escaped. So chaos to his family and um, you have escaped for freedom. Beautiful things are coming to you. You just stay in your lane. Beautiful things are coming to you. You just stay in your lane. So beautiful things are coming to you, uh, sir, ma'am. You stay in your lane. And uh, chaos is coming to him and his family. So chaos to him and his family. It sounds like the dark arts is about to backfire on him and his family. This is exactly what it sounds like. Um, but you have escaped, so you, you're you free from the situation now. Thank God. I feel for a lot of you guys, they were sucking off your energy. Um, and I'm just being for real. Your strength, you have strength, you're healing. Um... I think you have gratitude to the universe. Whoever you are, I feel you're very light side. You're very light side. These people were trying to make it out like you were a witch. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. You're very light side. These people were trying to make it out like you were a witch. So I think you're a femme energy or you're masculine that takes on heavy femme. Um, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. So... This masculine, karmic masculine warlock was trying to make you um, either feminine or masculine takes on heavy femme. They were calling you a witch. Um, and I don't think like the fun kitchen witch or garden witch shit. I mean like a real, they were trying to make you out like you're a real witch. But um, but I heard you're not. You're not. And um, you're very light side. So you're a light side spiritualist um, like I am. And um, but, but this person really is. They, I feel they cloak their energy. Because they're a warlock. They, I mean, they were putting all kinds of spells on your, on your ass. All kinds. Uh, but I'm sure they wouldn't tell the public this. And they were probably cahoopsing with their family because we have the family card in here. I'm just being for real. Many members of this family are dark arts. And it's about to seriously backfire on them in huge ways. Many members of this family is dark arts, and it's about to seriously backfire on them in huge ways. Yeah, they're about to have chaos in their family because there's many members in this family that do practice dark arts. But whoever you are, 
I feel for a lot of you guys, your fans, for some of you can be masculine and take some heavy fans because they called you a witch behind the scenes. With, I mean, I'm sure you don't know this because you wasn't around when they did it. But they called you a witch if you didn't know this. they I think they've been calling you a witch in the community. Definitely been calling you a witch in the community. For sure. And other places. Social media. Oh, my God. They've been calling you a witch in the community and on social media. If you didn't know that, ma'am, or sir, that takes on ma'am energy. Um, but um, but it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way. But it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way. But it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way. So they've been calling you a witch on social media and in your community, but it's about to backfire in a huge way. So I think you've been healing. You have strength and you've been healing. I heard you're very light side. You're not that way. I think you give gratitude to the universe. And um, um, we have acceptance reverse. They don't accept you in your community um, because they have outcasted you as a witch, which is terrible. But that is what we, that's what it is. So uh, unfortunately, so um, I heard you just stay in your lane. You just stay in your lane and you just keep doing you, honey boo boo. And you just basically let them get their karma. I feel for a lot of you guys, they live in your community. Because we have heavy community energy in here. And it's not only them, it's their family. Um, So I would just keep staying in my lane, like the spiritual download, staying in my lane and saying to myself and um, doing what you need to do in a positive, focused manner. Okay. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. I love you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. Heard they wanted to make you poor. They wanted to make you poor, but you're not. So, um, you just keep doing you, honey boo boo, if this resonates for you, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope this helped in Namaste.